Welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday, presented by Delta Media Group, where we see the turtle of enormous girth. On his shell he holds the earth. His thought is slow but always kind. He holds us all within his mind. So today, we are going to take a look at the calendar interface that is in the Delta Net 6 dashboard page. Um, so to get there, we're just going to click on dashboard, or if you log into the Delta Net and you're on Delta Net 6, you're going to land on the dashboard to start off with, unless you have set a different start page for yourself. Um, and on this page, if it is active by your company or as part of your, uh, your dashboard, you can scroll down to the calendar interface. So the reason I wanted to cover this for this week's Tech Tuesday is because we have made a lot of changes to it recently that make it easier to use, make it more informative, and um, just wanted to give it a once over. So to take a look at it, you can see that it lays out any events. These are either if you have Google or Office 365 Sync turned on. Those events will show up in here as well. Um, it shows any events created by the company, and those will appear in blue. And you can see there are a lot of uh, company events on our test accounts here. And it will show any events you've created yourself or any that are attached directly to you um, in orange. Now, the next thing you can do with this interface is we'll just run through the different kind of display types, the different looks for it. So first off, we've got buttons up here. We can switch back and forth between months easily enough. And you can see when we kick off to another month, I can click back to today to jump back to where we are. So that is a handy feature there. We have a button up here now to create a new task right from this interface. So if you want to add a new task or a new to-do, you can do it right from here, which is always handy. And then we can also show some different display types for the calendar. So we have month view currently, but if I wanted to switch that to week view, here's the week. I can look at just the individual day and see what I have scheduled on that day. Apparently I don't have anything scheduled today. <laughs> And I can switch it over to list view where I can just see a list of all the events that are set up um, during the current week. Or probably the current. The current seven day period might be a little more accurate there. So so there you go. Um, actually, no, that is the week. I was right the first time because the eighth would have been yesterday. So there you go. Now we'll switch that back over to month. Um, so from here, with all the events on here, if I want details on any, all I have to do is click on them. So if I click here, you can see it opens up that event's details. I can't change anything here because this is a company event, so this wasn't created by me. It's not my event. It is just available to me. So I can see all the information about that here. I can then close it out either with the X button here or just by clicking on Close. And now if I go over to one of the orange events, I can click on one of those, and you can see that those are very similar, but I do have some fields that I can edit here. Uh, this is, just happens to be a repeating event, so that's why that interface is open. But you can see that I can change it from a repeating event. Um, I can change the day it takes place, date and time, obviously, so all day uh, takes the time frame away. And then I can mark that as complete, this particular task or to-do that's in here, because um, it's not just a, just an event. This is actually like a reminder, like a task. Um, and then I could also edit the contents of it, so either the name itself or any notes that I have attached to this task. And then lastly, I can delete it. Now, all those things are available to me because this is my event or my personal event. So from here, I can delete it. If I made any changes, I can update it, or I can just click close if I just wanted to see the information and close that out. So there you go. Uh, now the next piece, I'll go ahead and click on New Task, and we'll go ahead and add a task in. So the first thing I can do here is I can attach this task to a customer. Now it's important that I don't have to. Um, if I want to create this as like you know a reminder to follow up with a customer on a specific day, then I would want to type that customer's name in here. You can see it brings them up in the list with the autocompleter, and I would click on them, and that would basically attach that customer to this task. Um, but if I don't want to do that, if I just want to create a, a task that's just a reminder for myself to do something that's not necessarily customer specific, then I can do that as well. I just wouldn't select customer here. And let's go ahead and pick a day. So we'll say we want to do this on Friday the 13th. It's Friday the 13th coming up. It's exciting. <laughs> um, I don't want this to be an all day event, so we'll uncheck that. And I'll say I want to remember to do this at, we'll say 9 a.m. There we go. And we'll say just 9 nine to 10. Why not? Oh, there we go. 10 a.m. I'll switch that over to a.m. So now it's going to be an hour-long event. Um, if I wanted this to repeat, so maybe every Friday I want to do the same thing, I can turn on repeat. And let's say that um, I'd rather do this monthly. So we'll do it every day on the 13th, so not just every Friday. And we're going to repeat it every one month, so it's going to happen every month. But if I wanted to say, you know, just every other month, I could do that or every four months. If I wanted to do something quarterly, I have the option there. But we'll do once a month. 
and repeat by day of the month, but I could repeat by day of the week also. So that would allow me to do something like, you know, second Friday of every month, that kind of thing. But we'll stick with day of the month. And then I can determine, like, uh, you know, like setting up repeating events in many other calendars, I can pick um, how often I want it to repeat or if I want it to only run until a certain point. I could say never end, so that's what it's set to now, but let's say we want to end after um, five times. So this is going to happen on the 13th every month for five months. Um, or I could just pick a specific date. And you can see I get the same date selector here, so I'll say run it until, uh, let's run it until the end of December. There we go. So now you can see it'll run monthly on day 13, so the 13th day of the month, until December 31st. So once my repeating event is set up, I'm not going to mark it as complete because it hasn't been created yet, so it's definitely not done yet. <laughs> and we're going to make the action um, create a newsletter. Now that action is what I'm going to see right um, you know, front, front and center for this thing. So when I see it pop up on my calendar, that's going to be the piece I immediately see. And then I can add a note here for the details. Um, create a new monthly newsletter to send to all customers. So in this case, it's not a customer specific task. It's just a, um, just a task, just a reminder for myself. So that's all set. So we're going to click on add. It'll take a moment to think about it. And now my new events created. And you can see right here on the 13th, I have create a newsletter. And if I want more information about that, I'll just click on it. And there's my task. And then once I've done it, I can just click on complete, update, and then that task is going to be all done. So go ahead and close that out. Um, now the next thing is, you know, these tasks, if I create a regular task or a to-do in here, they're also going to show up in my tasks interface. So I'll be able to see those um, Again, here's the tasks interface. So these will pop up for me when they're upcoming. Um, and when I start getting close to when those will be due, and I can mark them off here as well. But that's just for the for the task stuff. So there you have it. So that is the new calendar interface on the dashboard page of the Delta Net. Um, you know, there wasn't a ton to cover, and that's actually a good thing for a calendar interface. <laughs> I want to keep it as simple as we can so that you can easily view your events there. You can create new events or new tasks or reminders. They can be attached to customers or not. They can be repeating or not, just depending on what it makes sense for them to be. Um, in addition to that, you can see all the company events created here, and then easily click on those events and see what they're all about and exactly you know the details about when and what time they're going to take place. So you have it. So, as always, if you have any questions, concerns, comments about this or anything else in the Delta Net, um, feel free to give us a call or send an email into support at deltagroup.com, and we will walk you through whatever you need. So thanks a lot for joining me, and I will talk to you again next week.